Hi, I'm Tree and this is Stitches TV and I am very excited today. Today, I'm at Bags of Love, an online print company based here in the heart of London. I've got some really brilliant news. Guess what? We're going to do a competition, a collaboration with Stitches TV and Bags of Love and there are hundreds of pounds worth of prizes that you can win. But what you have to do is, you have to come up with a design for a front and a back clutch bag. Now this clutch bag is two A4 rectangles with a centimetre seam allowance. So your file has to be about 32 wide by 23 tall. And on one side, I want you to put a statement and on the other side, an image. You can mix them up a little bit. Now for the moment, we've just got to wait for my fabric to come through, which is due any minute now, so it'll be hot off the press. Oh, and here they come. Wow, I can't wait. Thank you, Claire. Wow. Look at these amazing, amazing prints. Come and have a look, look, look. I was struggling to come up with ideas. So, I've done some myself, but I've also got this lovely girl called Luna, who's only 11 years old, to come up with some ideas for her statement bag. So she's done these fantastic dots going around in a spiral. And then her words were, which is really profound, life is a dot to dot, count the dots. So we've made it look like a book, so this would be a play on a kind of book bag if we did this one. The one that we're gonna go with today is this statement bag. We've got pop on one side and boo on the other. Now you don't need any special software to do this. You can do it on any sort of Microsoft Paint software. It's really easy to do. But I must tell you about this. Look, they actually have tapestry fabric. Now I don't need to tell you the possibilities of that, but if you want me to, on one side, I could have suede with a pop on it. And then on the other side, I could have the tapestry fabric and work on it later on. So I've made my choice. I'm gonna make it out of the suede with the pop on one side, the boo on the other. I'm gonna have this lovely stripy fabric as my lining. And for my little accent bits of leather, I know you're gonna be so jealous. Look, I'm gonna use this gorgeous leather. Right, so what we need is, we need a zip. It can be any length, because we're gonna shorten it, which is a really scary moment. We need some lovely lining, a gorgeous printed fabric. Now I like to put a kind of little D-ring on the side, so I've got some nice accent leather that I'll tie in with the leather that I put on the end of my zip. Now, you may be happy with the fabric the way that it is, the weight that it is. But in order to make the bag feel a little bit more precious, I like to bond my fabric to another fabric to give it a little bit more body. So, this is what I do. I make my fabric into a more sturdy fabric. Now obviously, if you use one of the Bags of Love's other fabrics that are a bit, had a bit more body to them, like the neoprene, then you wouldn't really need to do this. I get a piece of fabric that I like the weight of. So I quite like the weight of this wool. So I lay that on my ironing board and then I get this stuff called Bonderweb. So I'm going to lay that on top. I'm going to get my beautiful image and lay that on top. And then you might need to trim it, trim off all the extra bits of Bonderweb because you don't want them to go on your iron. So put a cloth on top of it to protect your iron and the image because these are hot off the press so I don't know if they're colour fast yet and then you need a hot heat and steam and give it a really really good press we've got to trim the zip which is a little bit scary actually but it's okay now this is how I make the zip fit I lay it along the length of the bag and then I'm going to come in about an inch and I'm going to cut it 
really it's such a scary moment but you'll be amazed it cuts very very easily now that's why we've got that end piece for the leather because what we're going to do now is we're going to put it right sides with our zip cut it much longer than I needed it just because then I've got room for movement then and I'm going to sew it straight centimetre seam allowance and I'm just going to show straight there but when I get to the middle bit I'm going to kind of jump over them a little bit I'm leaving about a centimetre seam allowance I'm using a straight stitch forwards and back in the beginning and I'm just jumping over those zippy bits and finding a place in between the teeth so I can go on the other side and then go back to the forwards to close off the seam so we end up with this and I'm just going to trim it back to the right Size. So I can see it's a bit wide. I've got to trim it back on one side. And then I think I'll give it a bit of a press. So I'm lining it up with the bag and then I'm just going to trim it to fit the bag. You're not going to believe how easy it is to do. So we get our zip. We choose one of our sides that we're going to work on first. We're going to put the zip right sides together with the bag. So we're sewing a couple of mil away from the edge. We're using a straight stitch, going backwards and forwards at the beginning. I'm not even using a zip foot. It's so easy. So long as I clear that big zip, I'm going to be all right. And I'm just going to head all the way down. Now, if you are scared of making your own clutch bag, do you know what? Bags of Love have got hundreds of ready-made products that you can apply your image to and they even have clutch bags. So we end up with this, okay, but leaving it in that position with the zip face down, I want you to get one of your pieces of lining and put it right sides together with your bag. And then we do the same thing and just sew it all together. So still using the straight stitch, backwards and forwards in the beginning squeezing past that zip pull, and then you're just going to go all the way down now you know what's amazing about bags of love is not only do they do loads of digital printing but you can't see up there but they've got a factory where they make all the stuff as well and you can get leggings t-shirts t-shirt dresses beach dresses just loads of amazing stuff so we've done that, look, it's like complete magic. So there's our zip. So what happens is that all gets pressed back and it ends up being the lining of the bag, but we have to press it back first. Now, when you press it, you have to open the zip. Thanks, Philippa. And you have to really apply a lot of pressure because we're squashing all that thick fabric and we're pulling it away from the zip. And it looks like, like that. Now, because it's most important that the opening end line up properly, that's where I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna line everything up, and then that's the end I'll start at. So my zip's going to be underneath now, but I can still see it, and use the same seam allowance. So that's what we've just done, okay? There's our zip, we just stitched it on. We did it that way round, and that is what it looks like. But before we can go to that, we've got to do this. It's gonna hurt your head a little bit, but just do exactly as I say, okay? I'm gonna flip it over like that. I'm on the back end, the back end of my zip. So the zip is facing the other way. I'm gonna put my fabric right sides with my fabric so it's right sides with the back side of the zip starting at the zip end I'm just going to stitch it all together now I just checked how many different types of digital print fabric they have here at Bags of Love and I can't believe it they've got 50 50 different types of fabric that you can get your gorgeous designs printed onto but the most fantastic thing is is that there isn't a minimum quantity so that's what we just did the zip was closed 
So if I flip over my lining and open everything out, you can see that we've done the lining, we've got it all attached on that side, but before we move on, we do need to press it. Now, this is the moment when I'm gonna super, super stress to you the importance of you opening your zip, or it will be a disaster. Look, lining, beautiful. Bag, beautiful. Now, I like to add a kind of little handle thing on the side. I think it makes it look good and it's quite practical. So I've just got a strip of leather in a big D-ring. I'm gonna put it inside and I'm just going to stitch it, not onto the lining. If I open it all out, I'm going to align it just below the zip because it'll be too much bulk for me to have it any higher. So I'm gonna align it about there and just stitch it on with a straight stitch. But what I wanted to emphasize here is I don't want you too close to the zip because it'll be too much bulk. So we're just a little bit down from it. Um, this is a stay stitch. So I'm stitching to make it stay. So we don't have to go backwards and forwards. Now I haven't got a leather needle on my machine, but it's only a little bit of leather and it's very thick. So I'm turning the wheel of the machine towards me rather than putting my foot on the pedal because I need to control and feel if it's going through okay and I don't want to break a needle. Now, if you haven't got a, a D-ring hanging around your house, then have a look on eBay, because they've got loads. Right, so we've got it stitched on, and we're far enough away from as it. Now, this is that kind of hurting your head moment. Keeping your zip open, very, very important. I'm going to put my print fabric right sides together now and I'm making the lining so go on one side and all of this stuff is on this side. I think that's right. I'm going to push the zip away from me and I'm pushing the seam allowance going the opposite direction because otherwise it's going to be too much bulk. And I'm going to start sewing a straight stitch centimetre away from the edge and go right down this seam here. So my zip's going away from me and my seam allowance is coming towards me and at the moment I'm sewing over that really thick bit. So I'm going to go back and forwards a little bit there. And I'm going to use the wheel on the side of the machine. Because I'm being cautious as I go over that really thick bit and line everything up. Now I can't believe that Fran and Chris made their first product, which was a a bag with a personalised photo on it. They made their first product on this very table that I'm making my bag on. So they made that bag more than 10 years ago. And now they're a massive company, but you'd never have thought so because they offer such a personal and individual service. So we've done both sides. Now we're going to come across the bottom. We don't do it all in one go because sometimes we need to do a bit of stretching and looking at it and stuff. Now, corners are not corners. You think that they are, but they're not. When they're thick fabric, you need to come around to bend a little bit. So we're going to start a few inches up on the side seam, come down, and as we approach the hem, we're going to go round a bend and then come along the bottom and do the same on the other side. So I'm coming down that side seam and as I'm getting close to my seam allowance for the hem I'm going to start going around the bend and then coming along the bottom. Now if you find it easier just draw it out with the pen because it won't go through because you have the backing fabric. So I'm coming to the other side I'm going to have to try and mimic what I did on the other side and hopefully it's good and I think it is quite good actually. So that it lays flat and lovely, we've got to trim it back. Be brave, you've got to trim it back really well, particularly on the bend. So here we go. Ooh, a bit scary. So I'm going to trim back the other corner. Now before you can see what we've done, we've got just to stitch down the sides of the line. Straight down, don't go across the bottom. 
and straight down the other side. Okay, so going inside, inside the bag, okay? I'm gonna put my hand in, but it's a good idea to push out the corners whilst you're at this stage. So I put my finger in the corner and I give it a really good push and then go on the other side, push it in, making a few adjustments and I've just remembered something. Before we turn it, we've got to do another very brave act and that's to trim back the bulk on the side, which is so scary, but you have to do it. So just go for it, look. Oh, big trim there and we've got a trim on the other side as well. So you're just taking away that excess. Oh, now we can turn our bag. So if you didn't leave your zip open, you'll be crying. So that's why it's so important, because how could we turn the bag round if we didn't leave? Oh. That's another little tricky bit, is to push up, You've got to really push up that little leather bit so it looks neat there. So I've got my finger right in there and I'm pushing it really hard. Is it amazing? It's amazing, it's amazing. Look, that's the back and that's the front. But we have to press it and we have to finish off the inside. So where the opening is, you have a bit of bulk there. So you need to apply lots and lots of pressure and steam, if you have any, to flatten it as much as possible. And then I'm gonna start pushing out all of these seams really give it a good old press. So it's looking so, so amazing. And I just want to say, I was very surprised that when I did the artwork for it, I thought maybe there'd be a bit of colour change. But you know what? The colours are actually looking identical to how they looked on the screen, which is really worth knowing, actually. Now all we have to do is just prepare this opening to be stitched up. So when you're completely happy with your clutch bag, I'm folding back about a centimetre and a half, a centimetre and a half, pressing it into position. Now the good thing about pressing it first is that it will be like sewing paper. So we don't need any pins. We're just gonna do a straight stitch all the way all the way wait to enter your design into our statement bag competition and for details of it see the description below and i just want to say a huge enormous thank you to the lovely people thank you uh, um, bags of love for letting me film in their print workshop and hopefully i'll be back again soon we've got more than 80 free sewing videos and they're all easy sewing videos on stitches tv see you again soon bye, bye.